This episode was sponsored by Cards Against Humanity. They asked us not to read an ad. And could we just say how incredibly epic that is? It's so frigging badass. And they and everything we're saying now about them, they didn't ask us to do because they asked us not to read an ad. And that's so badass epic. It's like they bought they paid for the time, but it's just like we don't even give. We don't even give what you but that's do. That's the kind of company it is. And there's yes. some of these new, yes. young, yes. edgy companies, and one of them's this one. Yes. And I've played it. Mm-hmm. And it's funny Mm -hmm. if you're playing with funny people. And now they did ask us to read that they didn't ask us to read an ad. Yes. Which some people would say is still sort of an ad. Mm. Uh, It's not an ad because they said that they didn't even want us to read an ad. Well, what are you listening to the podcast for? Ads? No. You're listening for content, and that's why having the ad be so short, like this one is, Mm -hmm. lets you get straight back to the show in this faster way. And some of the stuff when you're playing, the game is so rando that you're like, how'd they think of this? That you do sort of think, like, you got to be pretty twisted to, like, think, like, okay, rando cards and short ads. Like, that's what we're doing. And when you're shopping for games and you're in the game store, you'd see these cards and you'd say, these are the cards that gave me more of my favorite show. Like, by not taking up space for an ad, they let me get back to the show I was listening to as soon as possible. I'll do them a favor and I'll buy their cards. And guess what? You're going to have a great time doing it. And, and yeah, and re- please reward them for this sort of thing. Because really, this is the shortest ad I think we've done mm-hmm. to date. How often do you get to laugh at some cards? Almost never. This episode was sponsored by Cards Against Humanity. They asked us not to read an ad. Enjoy the show. Now, this last week too. Yes. And the first time it was kind of cool. I thought it was. It was actually. Epic, it was actually. Dude. It was yes. It was yes. definitely epic the first time. Legit epic. <sighs> they paid for these ads. Yes. And to just like take that yes. money and to just throw it away, it's it. I just for for them, like I don't. It's not funny anymore. No, no, I get no, because here's the thing. I get it. You're <sighs> cool. You're a hip brand. You know, you want your thing to be like, we're the ad guys that don't do the ads. But at a certain point, I get scared. It's been, I mean, I get legitimately scared it, that people aren't going to have these funny cards. It's two weeks in a row. They've purchased ad space. They yes. have paid money for this ad space. Yes. For the show. Yes. And to just not get an ad and out to get of it? No ad time out of it because there's no there's no time that we're spent talking about the product. Funny once, uh, cool, epic once. Second time, it's actually very stupid. And it it's is very stupid. scary. It is and very stupid scary for a company to do. as someone who enjoys the cards. Yeah. It's kind of terrifying to think that I won't be able to get them or I'll have to get them off of eBay and they'll have jelly all over them or something because mm-hmm. it's some cards that somebody already played with and got a lot of the laughs out of. Mm-hmm. And honestly, because they are kind of cutting edge topical political with some of the funny things they put on the cards. Some Sometimes when you get them on eBay, they can they cannot be as topical anymore. Yes, it's exactly. True. Because I don't know if... 25 years from now, and I I actually hope that 25 years from now, I don't get the reference to, uh, you know, Obamacare or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yes, Grumpy Cat is another example. Mm -hmm. And when you get an old pack that's talking about Max Headroom, Mm -hmm. it's funny to us. Sure, we know But if a little baby's playing the game, they don't know who Max Headroom is. No. Babies don't know half the stuff on these cards. And so... I want to say, it's, this is just me pleading with you, Cards Against Humanity. If you hear this, Adam, and I know it you It might be our show. fault because we were so enthusiastic We encouraged about it. How, we encouraged know, it. What, a, what an epic move it was last time, and it was a win, but it's, it, it's verging on fail territory. I'm not going to say it's a fail. I refuse to say it's a fail. Yet. It's encroaching on fail territory, what Cards Against Humanity is doing with these ads. Yes, and last week, points... But this week, cards, I just am going to have to give you kind of the Hardwick nod and sort of chuckle yes. where it's like I'm being polite, but 
Keep the points Everyone that you've sees earned. That the, yes. Keep the points that you've already earned. No points being taken away yet. And, but And you're scaring me. This episode was sponsored by Cards Against Humanity. They asked us not to read an ad. <sighs> okay. 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 Uh, now I'm pissed. So, now, okay. Cards Against Humanity. No, Hayes, don't. All right. Don't say. Cards Against Humanity, you listen to me. Now you're starting to piss me off. All right. Now, the first time you did this, where you have that, you pay all this money for ad space on a hit show, and then you don't do an ad. Okay. Epic. That was a mistake that we said. Epic it was win. Epic. And I said that it was, and mm-hmm. now you're making me regret it. Because then you did it again, and it really started to scare me that people aren't going to get these funny cards. And I and I really started to get very scared. But I can only be scared for so long before I just go like, I won't be terrorized anymore. If it's your funeral, it, it is terrorism, and it's it is. Mm-hmm. It's the same as terrorism, and it's basically you know, I don't want to say their name, but it's basically Al Qaeda. We don't want to give them the. I don't want to give them any free any, press. any extra attention. No, I don't want somebody to seek that out and then join them. It makes me mad, but more sad. Well, if they wanted me pissed, they got it. Because if you back me in a corner, mm-hmm. you're going to find out that I'm pretty resourceful. And I'm now I'm coming out swinging Cards Against Humanity. And you just see who's left standing at the end of this one. And, you know, for my part, there was a time last week that I would have been willing to stop Sean. And, that and you know, that is something I, I can do. I know how to stop him. Uh, but I think in this in this case, I'm going to sit this one out and uh, and I'll, and I'll just see I'll see what happens because you know they 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 did ask for it. Yeah, well, and it's because you know that I'm in the right. Sure. And I'm skeptical on whether you could actually stop me, but that's but it's that doesn't matter okay. neither here nor there. And so so I you know I I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll make uh, Uncle Sean's funny cards. And then that'll be the funny cards that people buy, uh, you know, and, and we'll see if that stings, if that puts a little dent in the business. Because uh, you, you don't need my help uh, running your company into the ground, apparently, buying ads that aren't real ads and making enemies on pretty powerful podcasts. Enjoy the show. This episode was sponsored by Cards Against Humanity. They asked us not to read an ad. Well, okay, because we, you know, we thought about what we were going to do. After last... The last ad, three last, weeks. And I'm using this term loosely after the last ad that we did for them. We said, okay, well, if they do this again, we're not going to be scared. We're not going to be mad. We this, had a nice sit down. This ad time is bought and paid for. We have been asked not to read an ad about Cards Against Humanity, but we still have this space. So cards aren't using it, but it's an ad. So why don't I use it to promote a company that actually does give an F Mm -hmm. about sticking around tomorrow and the next day? Please, I'd love to hear an ad like that. And this is for a product that Hayes and I have cooked up together, and it is a little attachment for the tip of your garden hose that makes the water stream shoot out in the shape of a star. It's called Star Shower. This was an idea Sean came up with. I said, I love it. Let's do it. We got to do it. Uh, I came up with the idea to have an attachment big enough so you could put it on a fire hydrant so you'd make a yeah, big, that big star. Prototype. That's We're beta testing that. But yes, I mean, ideally we have a huge star shower that we could give all the people. And so Cards Against Humanity, you could be getting this kind of promotion, I think, when you look... Uh, at the numbers that Star Shower starts putting up after this ad, uh, you're going to be pretty uh, mad at yourself. This ad space is time. yours to use whenever you want it, but since you have decided not to use it, so uh, and, you know, we have to do something with it. We can't just do nothing. If you choose to buy Cards Against Humanity, that's your choice. They're not promoting, they're not suggesting that you do, but... If you want Star Shower, that's a great product that could be fun for your plants to feel like it's nighttime and the stars shining on them in water shape when it's actually light. So enjoy the show and buy Star Shower and buy Cards Against Humanity if you want, but not we're not, not, not we're not, not their urging that. and or nor ours.
Well, well, well. Look who came crawling back. This is if a, it isn't our old friends. This is a nice little surprise. Yes, yes, I think that it's good to see old friends again. Yes, I think that some of these funny cards really learned a thing or two from the the beating that they took in the open market. <clears throat> Now, surprise, surprise! This episode was sponsored by Cards Against Humanity and. And they asked us not to read an ad. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Sean, 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 sit. Sean, What? sit down. What? Don't do they, they this they want this. They want this. They're trying I to get you to stand up. I don't know what they want. This they want you to be angry. Sean, well they got it. Um very good slam. This is a uh, a sponsor of the show. Um, Cards Against Humanity has been. They sponsor the show for um, three or four weeks. And every time they sponsor it, they say that they don't want us to actually read an ad. They buy an ad. Uh, and But they say. I forgot my phone. I got to make a call. Okay. Uh, they buy an ad. And they don't actually ever. And by the way, who I'm mm. calling is the Funnier Die game that has like pictures and captions. Sean, which is a don't very call similar the Funnier game. Die game. Please don't call the Funnier Die game. It's a very game. similar game. Don't call the Funnier Die game. Don't and call Rob Delaney's board game. In don't some call instances. Rob Delaney's board game. Don't look at me like that. You look like you're going to call Rob Delaney's board game and the Funnier well, Die game. Well, let's just see. Let's. I'll just dial whoever. We'll see. I'll dial a random number and let's hope it's not Rob Delaney's board game or the Funnier Die game. Um, so this is just coming from me, coming from Hayes, we give up, uh, we like, we, you guys win. And if you will just please, uh, you can keep sponsoring the show, but just please do an ad because when you, when you do this, when you, when you come on and you ask us not to read an ad, when you do buy an ad, uh, it and especially at the start of the show, uh, it gets us in a place where you're like, well, what is it? Like, we don't, we don't know what to do. Uh, and it's frustrating and it makes us scared and uh, we we th thought that this was over and now that it's back, uh, please, 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 for the show, like we're, we are begging you, please just write an ad and have us read the ad and, and everything will be fine. Just had a very interesting phone call. <laughs> Sean... The Very productive <laughs> phone call. Okay, we're going to read an ad, and I actually hope this goes uh, exactly how I think it's going to go. And uh, this episode was sponsored by Cards Against Humanity. They asked us not to read an ad. Okay, well, great. And we couldn't be happier about it because we're actually prepared for you this time, Cards Against Humanity, and I thought you'd be small enough to not do an ad again this week. So I have... Partnered with a pretty big company, um, a slight bit bigger than you and a little more well-established. They're called For Dummies. Maybe you've heard of, heard of them. And you should probably get their uh, uh, re uh, advertising For Dummies book, but uh, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about Humor at Home for Dummies. These are... Humorous cards that uh, you can read with friends and loved ones at home or at your podcast you're recording. And uh, they really just crack me up so good. And if you want funny cards, uh, go to the company that does use ad space correctly and get humor at home for dummies and just laugh at these cards. And these cards, I would just point out, actually fit in your pocket, unlike the Cards Against Humanity, which I don't even know how big they are because you don't even say in your ad. It doesn't you say if it's pocket you don't size have or an not. Ad. Yes, because your whole ad is not having an ad. And it's... And it's hip and it's minimalist and uh, and all that is well and good until humor at home for dummies and me come and mop the floor with you. So these are conversation starters sure to make you smile. And actually, America's favorite humor consultant, Malcolm Kushner, was involved. And that's humor at home for dummies, the funny cards with ads. Enjoy the show. Okay, this episode was sponsored by Cards Against Humanity. The S is not a read and ad. Enjoy the show. Now, Sean, you you had some 
stuff that you wanted to. Oh, I'll just say I'll say this because okay, and thank you to the people who did order the Humor at Home for Dummies cards that we talked about last week, which had some really great, nice humor. Yeah, because some of this. Cards Against Humanity stuff gets a little bit blue, and yeah. that's not really my kind of laughs. Anyone can get those laughs. Yeah. But you know by now sort of how this all went, because the fact that Cards Against Humanity is still advertising on the show, they are yeah. still a well, company. they're not advertising, but uh, that's right. Not, but but the, they are still a company. And what that has taught me, now that I have a little more knowledge in this business, is that they must be using very low-quality materials to make these cards, because... I'll tell you, we can't get the price point on these for dummies cards low enough for it to make sense. They're nice cards. They're funny. It's fun with your friends, with your family. But we have had to put them up to about forty nine ninety nine, and they're online only. You can't. We can't get shelf space anymore because. And they're not. And I. But I just want to point out, they are not. You don't send them in like a physical forum anymore. They're a PDF. Yes, what we do is we wind up emailing you a set of what would be on the cards, ideally, within a few weeks. And then you can, if you're able to print those out and apply them to something, maybe tape them onto your Cards Against Humanity cards, which are pretty affordable. Yes. They're almost the same size as playing cards. But to use, but the, but I'll tell you, I, not, I mean, I haven't quite, tried it, but. but don't get them wet or something because I swear that material can't be any good. Because we were using, you know, not the best stuff, but some middle-of-the-road stuff to make our sure. Humor at Home for Dummies cards. Boy, oh, that was an expensive venture. I took a real bath on it. It costs a lot. So probably these things are made in China, these Cards Against Humanity cards, and probably they're made with newspaper or some something lousy because they're somehow able to keep printing them, keep making money enough at least to not buy an ad. Yeah. And so you're trying to make a little money back now and like hopefully the online version will and please don't forward the email that we send you because that really hurts our margins if you're forwarding that email then we just can't we can't ever uh even just even just zero out on this thing and which has been a pretty big nightmare. i just want to clarify also so we don't have any more misconceptions about this when you say it's 49.99 that makes it sound like you're getting multiple cards like a bunch of cards well, again, you're not getting physical cards. You're getting an email. Right. But that, like you're getting many like funny things, but it's, it's, no. it is per card. No. If you, pay, if you pay that price, you get a card, you ring out the laughs from that one. When you feel like you've cracked up hard enough, get back in there and your second card is going to be available at a discount. And that is $48.99. And, and then you're so not wasting on. cards. You're not getting this whole pack of things where, like, how could you ever get through all these well, cards? Well, what happens with the Cards Against Humanity cards, and I see it all the time, is you get so many that you read one and you just sort of go, like, mm, not that one. You're not going to do that if you've paid a premium. Yes. You're going to read it and you're going to be like, let's make it work. So... <sighs> Anyway, uh, please do still buy Humor at Home for Dummies. You can't get the physical cards, and I'm very suspicious of the process that Cards Against Humanity is using because it's not adding up to this podcast host. Enjoy the show. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Cards Against Humanity. They asked us not to read an ad. Uh, okay, so uh, Sean doesn't know that I'm doing this one. This is Hayes. Uh, these these ads that Cards Huma Against Humanity has been doing have been making him very uh, pissed off. And uh, he actually said that if we got any more uh, trick ads, he calls them, he was going to go postal, which, uh, you know, I obviously don't want that. Uh, but the show uh, does not need money uh, pretty badly, so I'm out here in the forest where uh, he, he won't hear me doing this uh, and he doesn't know how to listen to the show when it goes up so uh, I don't think he'll ever find out uh, so Cards Against Humanity hold on okay uh, sorry I thought I saw his car but I think it was just a shiny bird so uh, uh, Cards Against Humanity I hope this is uh, a good 
ad uh, is good enough for you guys, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, we can just uh, keep continuing like this. Um, I, I don't see any reason why this would ever have to stop. I, 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 from my perspective, I think it's 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 really good. Uh, so, okay, everyone, enjoy the show. <laughs> 